Hello, I'm Martin Riley, Customer Service Manager at Ascot Analytical. Today I'm going to give an overview of our cyclic corrosion chambers. Ascot's cyclic corrosion chamber. On the right of the chamber, we have the control system, touchscreen, HMI, multicolour, multi-language, giving access to the multiple features of the chamber. Above the control system, we have the peristaltic pump for the control of salt solution as it is sprayed into the chamber. To the right of the peristaltic pump, we have a flow meter, which will give an indication of the flow of salt solution through the chamber. Below the control system, we have an emergency stop button. This will cease all programs, heating operation, canopy movement, etc. in the event of being pressed and will also set off an audible alarm. We have a regulator and gauge for controlling the air pressure during salt spray testing. Below these, we have the mains isolator, which can be used to cut power completely to the chamber and in the event of a breakdown be locked out for safety. We have a pneumatically operated canopy. The canopy is physically held open pneumatically. We cannot close it manually. Similarly, when the canopy is closed, we cannot open it manually. It is held closed. We have sensors on the inside and outside of the chamber body to monitor the position of the canopy should it open or close inadvertently. The canopy has a large viewing window allowing clear access when viewing samples being tested. We have a low loading threshold which makes it very easy for lifting heavy samples into the chamber without placing any stress. We have two levels. We have the high level rack position and low level rack position. We also have an optional accessory which allows you to place items on the floor of the chamber. At the rear of the chamber we have temperature probes for safety and temperature control of the chamber. We have our salt spray atomizer for generation of salt fog. We have a humidity sensor and protective air curtain. This is used to protect the delicate sensor during salt spray operation. Below this we have an air distribution bar. This is used to inject compressed air into the chamber during purge, air drying and controlled humidity modes and circulates that compressed air around the volume of the chamber giving an even temperature and humidity profile. To the left we can see we have an exhaust port. This allows the conditions to escape from the chamber when testing is completed or to allow the air to pass through the chamber when we're in controlled humidity modes. This chamber also has an optional accessory entry port which the customer can pass cables or devices through into the test space when testing is actually in progress. In the base of the chamber we have a titanium heating element which is used for humidity generation. On the outside of the floor and walls of the chamber we have bonded silicon heater mats for generation of heat. If we take a final look at the canopy, the canopy has a dry seal gasket, gives an effective seal against the inner surface of the chamber, preventing the conditions from escaping during testing. This also has the effect of allowing the user access to the chamber without getting wet. To the rear of the chamber, we have the exhaust port and towards the center of the chamber, we have two service access points where a service engineer can access the connections for the temperature sensors and humidity sensor. Below these we have the automatic drain valve. This is pneumatically actuated and fully automatic. To the left we have the main service panel. Here we have a remote diagnostic socket which allows ASCOT to access the chamber remotely via the internet for diagnosing faults and issues. We have a series of push button to reset circuit breakers. We have the blue salt solution supply line which would be fed into the salt solution reservoir. We have the mains power cable and below this we have two deionized water inlet connections for the air saturator and humidity generator. 
we have the air saturator drain and to its left we have the compressed air inlet filter. On the right of the chamber we have our Ethernet socket for connection to the logging software. At the base of the chamber we have heavy duty casters which can be locked by pressing with your foot onto the locking mechanism and we have two forklift access points which allow the chamber to be moved and lifted easily.